Your Excellency, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Musaria Mudavadi, my fellow Cabinet Secretaries, the Principal Secretaries, here present chairman and, uh, and board of direct uh, chairman of the board of directors of kenya revenue authority and the commissioner general of the kenya revenue authority members of staff of kra distinguished taxpayers good afternoon your excellency it is indeed a great privilege for to us that you have created time to preside over the 2023 national taxpayers day as we honor our distinguished taxpayers uh, today. Your presence today is a strong testament of the value and even importance you have, you and your government have attached to the taxpayers, especially to those exceptional individuals and businesses that, that diligently honor their tax obligations. Your Excellency, today marks the culmination of 2023 Taxpayers Month celebrations, a series of events and even activities designed to engage with all taxpayers have actually been accomplished. These initiatives aim to reflect on innovative ways to revitalize our tax administration by adapting to the ever-evolving tax landscape and even the dynamics in the economy. We acknowledge that any country's sustainability and economic growth depends on its ability to generate revenues to finance development. The importance of domestic resource mobilization as a key driver of the development agenda is thus well established. Your Excellency, in recent years, the country has faced significant economic challenges from a series of devastating negative shocks that have led to a prolonged economic recession as well as inflation challenges. However, despite these challenges, we have witnessed positive signs of economic vibrancy. The economic vibrancy is evident in the improved revenue performance. I wish, therefore, to take this opportunity to appreciate the taxpayers for their resilience and contribution towards this achievement. I also appreciate the board and the management of the Kenya Revenue Authority for their selfless dedication and continued commitment to their mandate, even in the face of turbulent socioeconomic times. We shall continue working together and intensify our revenue mobilization quest that will ensure that we adequately finance the country's budget and support the government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda better for a sustained economic recovery and a sustained economic vibrancy. Your Excellency, domestic resource mobilization remains a major source of long-term financing for sustainable development across the world. In order to address this, a number of countries have embarked on the development of a strong framework for guiding tax reforms to enhance domestic resource um, uh, revenue mobilization. In this respect, the National Treasury and the Kenya Revenue Authority, with the support of development partners and bilaterals, have embarked on the development of the medium-term revenue strategy to enhance domestic revenue mobilization over the medium term. The strategy will guide tax administration to improve efficiency in the administration of tax laws, create tax rates that will enhance compliance and build the tax base. The strategy is expected to strengthen the policy dimension towards fiscal consolidation process with a target to achieve the East African Community Convergence Criteria of Fiscal Deficit of 3% of GDP. Your Excellency, as I conclude, allow me to refer to the media reports that my chairman of finance and planning uh, in parliament has also uh, alluded to that the government has introduced more taxes and targets to charge additional tax to charge additional taxes on personal effects traveling of traveling passengers and visitors at the point of entry your excellency we have a formal process through which we effect changes to the tax registrations usually through the finance bill the last time we made those any changes in the tax in the, in the tax system was uh, in June 2023 through the finance bill that took effect from Ju July 1st. And 
That is what we are implementing so far. I therefore wish to assure our visitors and all travelers to this country that no new taxes have been introduced and that the process of our entry points is smooth and diplomatic and the customs officers of the KRA have been instructed to ensure this remains the process that is also seamless and should not mishandle our visitors and travelers. Your Excellency, that is the position that we want to make sure that we clarify. Your Excellency, with your permission, allow me to invite His Excellency Honorable Rigardi Gashagwa, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, to make his remarks and invite Your Excellency to address our distinguished taxpayers. Welcome, Your Excellency. <laughs> 